Unraveling the mystery. Popping one's clogs. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and its myriad expressions. Today, we're going to explore a rather curious phrase that you might have come across in British English. Popping one's clogs. It's a quirky, slightly humorous expression, and understanding it can give you great insight into the cultural nuances of English. So, let's get into the nitty-gritty of what it means to pop one's clogs. At first glance, popping one's clogs might conjure images of someone literally popping or bursting out of their shoes. However, the phrase has a much deeper meaning. In British English, to pop one's clogs is a colloquial and somewhat euphemistic way of saying that someone has passed away or died. It's often used to lighten the conversation when talking about death, injecting a bit of humor into a typically somber topic. The exact origins of the phrase, popping one's clogs, are a bit murky, but it is widely believed to have originated in the industrial regions of northern England. The term, clogs, refers to the wooden-soled shoes that were commonly worn by workers in the 19th and early 20th centuries, especially in factories and mines. There are several theories about how the phrase came to be associated with death. One popular theory suggests that when a worker died, their clogs would be seen popping off their feet as they lay down or as a symbolic gesture of their life ending. However, this is more folklore than fact. Another interpretation is that popping could mean pawning in old slang, suggesting that someone has gone, leaving their possessions behind, including their clogs. While popping one's clogs is understood and occasionally used in British English, it's important to use it appropriately. It's a light-hearted or humorous phrase and should be used in casual, informal settings. It's not suitable for serious discussions about death or when offering condolences, as it might be considered insensitive or disrespectful. Here are a few examples of how it might be used correctly. He's getting so old now, he might pop his clogs any day. I need to start living life to the fullest before I pop my clogs. Remember, understanding the context and the company you're in is crucial when using phrases like this. We hope this exploration of the phrase, popping one's clogs, has been enlightening and added a quirky new expression to your English vocabulary. Phrases like these enrich our understanding of language and culture, showing us how humor and euphemism play a role in the way we talk about even the most serious topics. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more insights into the English language. Until next time, keep learning and exploring the depths of English expressions.